Sometimes the smallest, yet seemingly most insignificant aspect of what makes a Beyblade a good bay can be the most critical feature in determining whether you win or lose a bay battle. The concept of a centerpiece which holds the entire Beyblade together was first introduced during the Beyblade generation through the forged discs, which played a critical role in not only the weight of a bay, but the way it performed during battle. And in Beyblade X, the centerpiece was once more reimagined and remastered and fine-tuned into such a small, simplistic piece of art known as the Ratchet. For over a year now, Takeratomi has designed and released a multitude of ratchets, with each one carefully designed with a specific role in mind. But these ratchets, as simple in design as they are, are not only required in assembling and holding the Beyblade X Bay together, but ultimately it affects the way the bay performs in battle. The ratchet determines how long a bay will spin for, the amount of power it can execute in an attack, and the amount of damage a bay can sustain before crumbling underneath the opponent's bay. With a variety of heights such as the 60, 70, and 80, these ratchets remain almost a complete mystery to most bladers out there with little to no understanding of the main function of a ratchet. However, in today's video, the mystery of the ratchet in Beyblade X is finally uncovered as we take an in-depth dive into the Beyblade X Ratchet, how each of them are designed for a specific type, and how height does in fact matter. This is the in-depth understanding of the Beyblade X Ratchets. Beyblade X has a multitude of ratchets available to be able to customize your base and create the ultimate combo with some small select few that have been an absolute fan favorite since their releases, the 360, 560 and 960 which are the most used ratchets in the game but with the fan favorites does come the mass hated ratchets such as the 460 480 260 and many more the line between a good ratchet and a bad ratchet in beyblade x is black and white with very few if any in the gray area of being just plain decent but before we go into that first we need to identify what a ratchet is in beyblade x a ratchet is the main piece of a Beyblade combo that keeps the entire bay locked into place as well as assisting in determining the burst resistance, stamina, and attack power of the bay. The number of protrusions on the ratchet not only determine the likelihood of a bay being able to burst, but also tells us what it specializes in, whether it be for attack, defense, or stamina, or even a perfect balance of all. Ratchets are made up of two main components which consists of a nub and a height. In names such as the 360, the ratchet contains first three protrusions or nubs and its height is 60 millimeters tall. Translation, 360. A ratchet identified as a 480 contains four protrusions or nubs and its height is that of 80 millimeters. Ratchets such as the 160, 260, 360, and 180 and 280 are ratchets that specialize in drawing out the attack potential of a base combo. Meanwhile, ratchets such as the 480, 760, 380 are ratchets primarily used for a defensive combos due to the balance attribute of the weight distribution. 580 ratchets are solid ratchets used for base specializing in some form of stamina prowess. And then we have the odd ones out, which are some of the most used ratchets in the game, the 9s, 960, 970, and 980. The 9 ratchets are a perfectly balanced ratchet and it's good in just about any combo out there, each assisting in the main focus type. 960 ratchets are perfect for heavy and fast attackers, but they are used heavily on defensive type and stamina builds due to their high burst resistance with the smaller protrusions in comparison to the other ratchets, making them more difficult to burst. Alongside the 9 ratchets, ratchets such as the 460 and 560 and many other missing ratchets are ratchets set out with a perfectly balanced aspect. Now when a ratchet is determined as a balanced ratchet, that does not translate into a balanced type A. Takeratomi set these ratchets as ratchets that could be utilized with any and all combos, types, and performances, not necessarily specific to any type of Beyblade. But one of the biggest arguments in the Beyblade community is whether or not the height of the ratchet actually does make a difference or not. Many people assume that the higher ratchets are weaker, burst more, and are otherwise just terrible to use, focusing solely on the 60 ratchets. However, according to Takeratomi and the in-depth analysis of the construction of the ratchets, height does actually play a very pivotal role 
in the bass performance and does, in fact, make a huge difference. 60 ratchets have a low burst resistance, weaker springs, but it is compensated with being lower, more tucked in and hidden in the bass design, as well as further being protected by a higher burst resistant bit. Lower sitting ratchets work great for attack type bays or bays utilizing the attack aspect of a combo. With a higher velocity, speed, and greater impact, the more tucked in and hidden the ratchet is within the attack type bay, the better. On contrary, the 80 ratchets have a much tighter spring system and this increases the overall burst resistance of a bay. But much more than that, the taller the ratchet is does play a tremendous role in the physics of a Beyblade X-Bay in increasing the stamina. Beyblade uses advanced physics to make, design, and create their bays, requiring an entire department of scientists and engineers to achieve with an additional lot of employees to Karatomi perfected their bays through Beyblade X. Beyblade X is no longer simple toys focused on general spin-top science known as rational mechanics or rigid body dynamics, where in previous generations of spin-tops, the heavier the bay is, the more likely it will spin longer and win a battle. Rather, Beyblade X expands on the general science of a spin top with incredible detail into the physics of a Beyblade. It compiles four physics concepts in addition to the general rational mechanic science of a spin top. In addition to the physics of a Beyblade, it includes 1. Centrifugal force, an outward force that allows for the rotating object to spin for longer. 2. Friction, the interaction of the bay and the stadium which directs the motion of a Beyblade. 3. Angular momentum, a force that remains constant unless intervened by an external torque force. And 4. Impact dynamic, where collision changes the direction, the speed, and the spin of a bay. Weight differences don't matter much anymore when it comes to Beyblades as it has in the past generations. In regards to the ratchets and the physics, the higher the base sits, the greater the centrifugal force becomes and the greater the stamina becomes. Therefore, 80 ratchets make for a perfectly calculated height to best increase the stamina of a bay. The 70 ratchets are a mix of both high and low ratchets, making them great for either of the types. The 70 ratchets have tighter springs much like that of the 80 ratchets, but are able to be hidden more easily like the 60 ratchets. These ratchets are especially great for balance type bays that are great at all but masters of none. But now that we have gone over the ratchets, how do you tell the difference between them? One of the most asked questions in Beyblade currently is how to tell the height of a ratchet without having to measure, look it up online, or view the back of the packaging. So let me break it down for you and show you the subtle yet very distinct differences between the heights so you can tell them apart better without having to go through all the trouble of searching for the answer. When looking at the 60 height ratchet, the center plastic at the piece is level, or in some cases, just below the outer layer of the ratchet. An 80 ratchet is identified by the same center piece, which rises above the outer layer. Where the real trouble comes in is in identifying the 70 ratchets. The 70 ratchets look identical to the 60 ratchets in terms of where the center plastic piece is located. However, a subtle sign in differences lies within the main shaft or the bit insert of the ratchet. If you look off to the side of the center insert of the ratchet, you'll notice that there are two bridges or two slopes that extend outward. It is a small feature that neither the 80 ratchets or the 60 ratchets have in their designs. Consolidating everything that we have learned today, we can now fully understand the purpose of a ratchet in Beyblade X. We now understand that the ratchet plays a critical role in the base attack power, stamina capability, and the burst resistance. We also know that certain ratchets contribute to specific Beyblade types better than other ratchets do. As well as having a deeper understanding of the science behind Beyblade X, we can now understand more fully how its stamina and defensive type function in battle, as well as knowing that the higher the ratchet, the better the stamina of the Beyblade X Bay. We also know how to best tell the difference between the ratchet heights apart without having to waste our time in searching or dismantling a bay to compare to another. Overall, ratchets are some of the most crucial components of a Beyblade X Bay, and despite everything, in the end, there is no bad ratchet. Even ratchets such as the 480, the most hated ratchet in the game, is a solid ratchet given the right bay and the right combo. As a last remark towards Beyblade X and the ratchets used in the game, let us be reminded that these instructional and educational videos are not saying you should not mix and match. Beyblade X allows the bladers the complete freedom to utilize whichever blade, ratchet, or bit they deem fit 
for the combo they have selected. However, understanding the basic physics, designs, and purposes of every component of Beyblade X can give you a subtle edge over your opponent. Knowing how ratchets work, how blade designs perform, and how bits function in battle can give you, as a contender, an edge in knowing the weakness of any bay out there. But comment down below, what are your favorite ratchets? What are some of the ratchets you have used the most and have worked best for the style of blading and the combos that you have chosen to blade with? Now that is everything for this video. I do appreciate you guys tuning in and watching another episode of Bay Education. Stay tuned. We do have more Beyblade X content coming to Lesbian Bays. In the meantime, have yourselves a great night and I'll see you in the next video.